can we talk about wet sand? Wet sand. Yeah. Yeah. Now this is a beautiful song. Is it? This is this is one of my favorite songs on the record. Top five? Top five. Like if I if I'm gonna play songs for people, if I'm gonna pick five, you just play, play wet like sand. A selection of five, I play wet sand every time. Yeah. And a few things stand out to me about it. One, it's just John came out in with all these beautiful chord progressions, mm -hmm. and th there was a lot of it, and it it was all in these different pieces. It was in pieces. And in the first day we worked with Rick, or the second day or something. Right. He changed all the pieces around. He said, try this, try that, and it really worked. That's right. And I remember it was a real good way to open the pre-production process because, because, you know, Rick's always telling us to do things, and we're like, what do you mean? No way! We're You're kidding! Try that. And he goes, what? please, just try everything. If you don't like it, we'll put it back. But he, tried, he had us do all these things we never would have thought of, and it came out so great. You know, like all of the puzzles, parts that John had come up with, it all, it really was like, oh, it became such a dynamic song, you know? And, and, and this is... This is one song. Did John come up with the lyrics and just you perform in wet sand? Mm -mm. Those, words, those weren't his words? No, he came in with the chords at the end uh -huh. with the melody, right. a vocal melody. Oh. And, and I, okay. when I went up to him and I was like, John, do you mind if I use your vocal melody? Because I, I love it and I really don't want right. to. And, and he usually prefers me to go find my own. Right. And he was like, oh, okay, I guess if you, know, you want to use that melody, you can use that melody. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then I was like, also, I heard a couple of words in there uh -huh. that you were mumbling, and I, I, I kind of liked them. And he's like, oh, no, 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 it was gibberish. Yeah. I was like, I know, but I heard something <laughs> that sounded cool to me. Uh -huh. And he was like, no, really, I, just, I was just making up sounds and blah, blah, blah. Uh -huh. I wasn't going to tell him what I was saying when I was singing him the melody of, the, of that section. I, I wasn't, I didn't yeah, want to use my to words, but he, he wanted, really, he really he goes, wanted he, to know. What did he say? What did he say? I was like, did you say wet sand? He's like, yeah, I think I said wet sand. Wet sand was you know, part of the thing. Uh -huh. So he forced me to, to say what I was actually saying, and then he ended up using that. And then I, I almost was like, well, I, I got a whole other page of lyrics here if you want to see. But I let it alone. I just let him do his thing with it. <laughs> I just took wet sand, uh -huh. those two words, uh -huh. and went back, you know, sort of worked backwards through the yeah. song. I get the feeling, and this is an interesting thing, because I'm going to say what the lyrics make me feel, uh -huh. and it's probably not what they're about at all, because I don't Thank know the God. lyrics. It yeah, should be... I don't even know all the words, because it's always like I pick them up until I can see <clears> the lyrics and read them. <throat> I don't know. I'm like, I just go on little pieces that I hear here yeah. and there. You know? But the feeling that I get from it is that it's a love song, but it's a special love song, because it's not just about loving somebody and how great love is. It's about the darkness of love, too, and the lightness, and it's all together, and you love it all, and that's the biggest love that there is, because you're really loving the things that you don't like, too. Oh, yeah. And that's the feeling that I get from it. That's why, and that's so big to me. That's like the most universal thing. Yeah, that's the theme of the whole record to me. Mm. To me, too. 